Appellate number 25 is matter of Edmund Caravadian, 215-21909. So I've got a negotiation for the debtor. Thank you very much. Good morning. Please raise your right hand. These all I swore are from the testimony you're about to give. Give the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I do. Thank you. Your name, please? Edmund Caravadian. And is your current address listed on your bankruptcy petition? Yes. And how long have you lived at that address? Uh, five years, six mm -hmm. years. And um, have you filed bankruptcy before? Yes, like a month ago, actually. And what happened to that case? I couldn't come into the thing. Couldn't make it. Em I couldn't bit. make it. Emergency reasons, so then was I didn't come in. So do you know if the case was dismissed? Yeah. It was dismissed. The filing was in May, May 29th. There okay. was no appearance at 341, so it was dismissed. All right. Any other bankruptcies? No. Did you read the green information brochure? I did. Do you owe any support obligations, such as alimony or child support? No, sir. Are you currently employed? No. When were you last employed? Mm, maybe six years ago, five, six years ago. And what was your last employment like that? A trainer. For what? Martial arts. And is there a reason that you have not worked in the last five or six years? No, I'm just trying to get a new fighter, you know, trying to look for fighters. Just Do you have any source of income at all? No, not really. How do you uh, how do you support yourself? How do you pay your like when I do like you know sometimes I do personal trainings like I get fifty bucks, forty bucks, but I wouldn't call it that much of an income. Do you have a gym that you train out of? Yes, I go to different gyms and I train fighters there. Which gyms do you train fighters at? Uh, Glendale and Wildcard Boxing Club. A few. What? Wild card box is that in Glendale or no Santa Monica? Oh, and what is the one in Glendale? Glendale Fighting Club. Any other source of income besides occasional training? No, sir. You, Jack. And are you married? Yes. Does your spouse have any income? Yes. And um, her employer is not listed. Who is her employer? Uh, social worker. She's a social worker. For who? Uh, Los Angeles County. Okay, so you've had no other employment in the last five or six years except working as a uh, trainer. A yes. Trainer, yes. Uh, in those five or six years, have you received any portions of any purses or winnings of any of the fighters that you've worked with? Mm, no, not, not, nothing. Nothing but a few hundred dollars, that's it. In the last five, six years? Yeah. Did you read and sign your bank schedule and statements? Yes. Are you personally familiar with everything contained in your bank petition schedules and statements? Yes. To the best of your knowledge, that information all true, correct, and complete? Yes. Any errors, omissions, or mistakes that you need to bring to my attention or the court? Not that I know of. All of your, are all of your assets listed in your bankruptcy schedules? Yes. All of your creditors listed in your bankruptcy schedules? Yes. Schedule? Have you transferred, sold, or given away anything of value of $5,000 or more in the last four years? No, yes. Are you, uh, does your wife own any assets that are not listed in your bankruptcy schedules? No. Sorry? No, sir. Does your wife have a, um, a bank account? Yes. At what bank? Uh, I think it's Union Bank. Okay, and City you, or Union? Yeah. Are you, do you have a bank account? No. Are you on that account with her? No. Is that used as a community account for both of your expenses? No, she uses it. I really don't need it. Okay, it sounds like it's a community account. If there's only one account for both. We can we can amend and. Do you have any accounts for your business as a fight trainer or any, no. other, or any other business? No, I don't. Are all of your uh, creditors and debts listed in your bankruptcy schedules? Yes. And um, you have some large uh, debts. Um, what, what, what did you utilize? First of all, when did you last incur any debt at all? Debt? Seven years ago, six, seven years ago. And 
what was this day used for? Well, I, you know, when I started, I opened up a gym, and I thought I could be successful on brand. I got a good location, and then, you know, just couldn't too much overhead, and I thought I could, you know, open up a gym, but then wanted to work with fighters, and working with fighters, you're not going to be running a gym, you know, at that level, instead of just for the general public, because I wanted to, uh, just want to have great fighters, and fighters don't make any money, so, you know, never worked. Just when everything went down the drain. So all of these, all what percentage of your total debt was related to the gym? Um, fifty fifty, I would say. Fifty percent. Well, so the fifty percent that was not related to the gym, what was that used for? Just like, again, just putting everything together, thinking that I could, you know, just grow the business and just um, living, living expenses and just doing it. Yeah, well, your attorney helped you out there. No, just yeah, expenses. just I just spent it, went, spent it, and it went crazy, and just thought I could, I could get out of it, but you know, there's no way around it. And what was the name of the gym? Glenn Fighting Club. The one that you still train at? No, I don't train at that gym at this, uh, currently right now. So what happened to the gym? The gym is the, still there. The, the gym is still there, right? Yes, the gym is still running. Are you still involved with the gym? Yes, I do. But what? I don't train any fighters for that your, gym. What is your involvement with the gym? Nothing. I'm just, I just go right to see if there's any fighters, you know, just to help out if any anybody I could get as a trainer. Because what happens with trainers, you make 10% of people that fight and these people you know you need a special fighter they only get a thousand dollars or two thousand dollars to fight unless you have somebody special so you just work like that until you have establish a name but but you used to own this gym right? yes okay. that's what i'm trying to understand did you sell the gym what happened to the gym no just couldn't couldn't make the payments and couldn't just run it you know and just can't do anything with it so who runs it now they just uh, runs it. A student of mine took over and started running it, and um, it's not doing well. So. When did your student take it over? Um, maybe five, six years ago. And so, is, is it a corporation? I, I don't know. I believe so. You don't know. When you owned the gym, was it a corporation? No, no, it wasn't. What is your student's name? Sevak Ohanjanyan. <coughs> Can you spell his name? S-E-V-A-K. I'm sorry, S-E-V? A-K O-H-A-N-J-A-N-Y-A-N. -A -A <coughs> We're going to have to do this again. <laughs> O-H-A-N-J-A-N-Y-A-N. J-A-Y-A-N. So S-E-V-A-K O-H-A-N-J-A-Y-A-N. Yes. And his last name? That's his last oh, name. S-E-V-A-K. And you know where, <coughs> do you know where he can be reached? Yeah. Where can he be reached? I can give his number. Sure. Okay. It's a. And does he have a? Um, does he work? Does he have the club every at the Glendale Fighting Club every day? No, um, not every day. He's usually there. Yes. And how often do you go to the club? Uh, three times a week. Two, three times a week. And what do you do? In the mornings, I go to see if I could, you know, just train fighters and just make a living like that. How is he keeping the gym going? Well, it's not doing well, but he has the kids' kids' programs, so. Did you obtain any bank loans for the gym or just credit card? How did you do it? Yeah, I just got loans from banks and just to did advertisement just to grow the business and did you, have any, did you have any financial statements? What did, you, did you have anyone a financial statement with your income on it or your no. list of your assets? No. Have you, have you owned any other businesses in the last 10 years besides the Glendale Fighting Club? No. Have you owned or transferred any real estate in the last four years? No, sir. Okay. The property at <laughs> who owns that property? Renting it. Who is the owner of the property? The owner is um, Samuel Avedisian, I think. Yes. Did you ever have any? Were you ever on title to that property? No, sir. Uh, you never had any type of interest in that property at all. No. How about your wife? Uh, no. Samuel Anastasian, a relative or a friend? Yeah, it's a, it's a relative. What is his relationship? It's um, my, I think it's under her name or my mother-in-law's name. 
it's my it has to do with my uh, wife, but I don't know exactly if it's her name or two. They probably two people own it. I don't know. I don't ask them those kinds of questions. Right. Is, your, is your wife an owner of the property? No, no, my wife. Has wife's she ever been an owner of the property? No. Do you know if there's a loan on the property? No, I don't know. I want to show you a deed. And this deed, uh, this is up here, May 23, 2012. Mm -hmm. Is that your signature? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Do you know why you would have given a deed uh, to, uh, who is Diana of Stitcher? That's my wife. Do you know why you would have given a deed to the property to your wife? Mm -mm. No. Maybe it was under her name, or they transferred it to. I don't. I don't know any of that. Well, we're gonna have to find out. Okay. It's very important. Uh, do you know why you're? You know, here's one from uh, 2015, May 12, 2015, a grant deed. Mm -hmm. um, it says from Diana Evastasian to Samuel Evastasian. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe it was under her name, and then everything that wasn't working out, I don't know. And it says, uh, this establishes the sole and separate property of a spouse. Are they mm -hmm. married to each other? Uh, who? Mary? Diana and Samuel? No. no. Okay. Uh, you don't know, if it, how, and you've lived in this property for how long? Uh, five, six years, six, six, seven years actually. you know how much the property is worth? No. And do you know, um, Again, you don't know if there's any loans on the property? No. And Council, I would like that information. I would like the information regarding loan balances on this property. That, you're, that um, Mr. Terabit, Terabitian has been previously been on. And the current value of this property. We're also going to have an amended Schedule B filed, correct, on the bank account? Yes. I would like uh, current um, credit card statements. Um, for all accounts over a hundred thousand for all of the accounts over a hundred thousand dollars. And when you when you transfer when, when you say current as in the most recent statements. Most recent statements. I believe his accounts have been closed for a while. Okay. Well, if we well, let's see. And um, when you sold the, did, did you sell the business? No, to no. It was just I couldn't run it, so it wasn't working out for me. Didn't was, just, was there any agreement with him? No. So what do you do? Just train fighters to have good fighters. That's it. It's just boxing world. Do you have a, a key to the gym? No. So how did this come about? You were the only, you started the gym. Yes. So this is one for me. You well, started the gym. You couldn't run it and, you know, couldn't make the payments. So somebody took over so they could they could do it and see if they could make something right. out of it. But when when that happened, so how did this come about? That's, did you just call, how did, how did you? No, you just, you know, I was training with him. He was, you know, training with us and he, he thought he could do it and he's trying to run the gym. And how long ago was that? like six years ago. So there was no agreement? No agreement, no, because there's not much in the gym. I mean, there was equipment, this and that, but what was I going to do with it? You know, there's mats. How big is the gym? Uh, 4,000 square feet, approximate 3,000 something. All right. uh, Too much overhead, you know. On your bankruptcy schedules, the only assets that you list are furnishings and clothing. Yes. Do you have any other assets at all? No, sir. Do you have a vehicle? No. Any retirement accounts? Nothing. Any investment accounts? No, sir. Any, one, any source where you might receive money at all? No, sir. Uh, is there any agreement that if he makes this gym successful that he would give you back no, money? No. When did you last file a tax return? 
maybe six, seven years ago. And how about your wife? She probably files no. You don't file a joint return? No. Okay, I would like as the, I do have a declaration, but I would like to most recently file a tax return. So I'll continue this for an amendment to Schedule B, the most recently filed tax return, uh, the credit card statements, and the loan balance on the uh, <laughs> property. <laughs> Any creditors on this matter? I have your California driver's license, which bears your name and likeness. And Social Security card. Social Security number matches the number of the bankruptcy notice. I would, I return your identification tax return to you. Any, I have nothing further. Thank you very much. And the continuing state. Oh, I'm sorry. September 29th, 2015, 11 o'clock a.m. Room two. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Calendar number 69. I'm sorry, not 69. Calendar 69. six. Six. Calendar 60. Is another Edmund Carvedarian. 215-21909. Good afternoon, Mr. Trustee Varand Gurjian of Gurjian Law Group, appearing on behalf of the debtor. Thank you very much. It looks like a substitution of attorney was filed yesterday. There's some contact. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon. Good morning. Uh, please raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you're about to give with the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? And thank you. Your name, please? Edmund Tarberry. Okay. I saw your identification at the prior meeting of creditors. You handed me your driver's license again today. I'll go ahead and pass that back to you so I don't forget. Thank you. Um, since our um, last hearing, uh, we had requested. Since the original meeting back in September, we had requested certain documents from you. Have you made any um, efforts to locate those documents? With my new lawyer, I think, yes, he's on board. Whatever is. When, when you say on board? Yeah, like, I don't know exactly which documents you're talking about, so okay. whatever. Well, Mr. Trustee, if I could get a list, I'll have whatever documents are requested within a week. I am requesting files from former counsel. I don't have all of them yet. Okay. Well, there were, there were two groups of documents. One was a uh, September 3, uh, 2015 inquiry letter from the Office of the United States Trustee requesting certain documents. And then at the hearing itself, um, I requested credit card statements. Do you? Um, do you have credit card any credit card statements in your possession? Um, what happened? What happened to the credit card statements? Uh, I think um, they were, I haven't had credit cards for like eight years. You know, I don't know where the statements are. I haven't been getting anything, so I don't have anything. I let my lawyer know that. At your um, prior hearing, there was a discussion uh, concerning the uh, the Glendale Fight Club, and your testimony was that you transferred the club. Do you recall it? No, I don't remember exactly what I said because I wasn't. I guess didn't know exactly what's going on. But now I do after the first hearing again. Exactly what's going on with the gym and everything. So, well, uh, when you say we asked you some, you know, pretty direct questions about what was going on with the gym, and you gave me a gentleman's name who you said was the owner of the gym. Yes, he runs the gym. Okay. Who is the owner of the gym? Dan Abitisa. 
I'm sorry? Diana Avedisian. Okay. And who is Diana Avedisian? That's my wife. Now, you did not tell us that your wife was the owner of the gym. It's, it, it's a corporation, and I didn't know because you asked me if um, there's a change or anything like that. And uh, with my memory, I haven't changed anything. It's just been under her name. The corporation's been under her name for many years already. That's what um, we found out after me speaking to my wife because most of the things I really don't look into, I just go and train fighters. And now, because of all the situation, I really did go back and after I knew more, just found out exactly what's going on with my situation. Who are the shareholders? What is the name of the corporation? GFC Fitness Incorporated. Who are the shareholders of GFC Fitness Incorporated? My wife would know better, but it's her, her she's the president. Have you ever been an officer or director of the corporation? No, I haven't. Have you ever been a shareholder of the corporation? No, I haven't. Now, um, I know you are a trainer and you've been in the fight, you know, in the sport of fighting and mm -hmm. the business of fighting for a long time. Yes. Um, what is your wife's experience in the uh, sport and business of fighting? She's known me since uh, 18 years old, so she has a lot of experience with the, the sport and just understand what it is. Is there a reason that it was placed into your, that your wife is the president of the company as opposed to you being the president? I just, I, I was very bad with um, my finances, you know, when I started off and I didn't do everything right and she was like, hey, something worked this way and I had a lot of debts because of the situation because it wasn't easy to run everything myself at that young age and fight at the same time. So I had a lot of you know, financial problems and it was the best decision at that time. And, and, and as of today, it remains in your wife's name? Yes, it does. And she remains the president of the corporation? Yes. Now, you, you told me that the, I, I forgot the name of the gentleman that you gave me last time that you said was the owner of the gym. I, I, well, honestly, when I, I think I was mis, misunderstood some of the questions because I, I didn't even understand there was $700,000 dumped under my name because the attorney, I guess, I did look at papers. I did swear that I, I did read it, but I saw the first page. I don't think I owe that much money after going to my new lawyer and taking out a lot of the, the credit card statements for my credit. I, I don't owe that much money, and I don't believe that it's it's accurate. So I was really in shock. I really didn't know how I'm answering the questions. But Sadako Ajahnian does run the gym, and he's there most of the times because you said how many times you go there. And I think that's when I answered the question is him being there most of the time. If, you know, I'm just trying to be honest right now and tell you exactly what it is because I was in shock, and my lawyer, I guess, didn't do the things the right way to fill out them again. I didn't. I read the first page. I signed it. I know I swore, and I was. You told me that everything is accurate, and I did say yes, it is. But it's. It, it wasn't. I guess it. It wasn't done right. Well, okay. So I'm not. I'm not. I don't give you legal advice, but yes. I can tell you that it's ultimately your responsibility to prepare the papers, and it's ultimately your responsibility uh, to provide accurate testimony in connection with this bankruptcy case. I, I understand. Um, the, um, how often do you go to the gym? I go to the gym, you know, I'm there most, it, depending on what that, what, if I'm in a training camp, sometimes, you know, many, many years, I went three times a week, there three times a week to wild card because I used to take my fighters to sparring sessions. So, you know, I'm usually active every day in the gym, but no, I'm not out there every day if, unless I have a training camp with a specific fighter. And you discuss who, who actually does the day-to-day -day management of the scheduling? Uh, oh, there's a front desk, Christine. Uh, uh, Christine, her name is Connor, her last name. And then um, we have set up always there managing, you know, just putting everything together because he's been there more longer. Who handles the, the finances? Dan, I'll be this. Uh, okay. And who pays the bills? Dan, I'll be this from the corporation. Every bill is paid. With my understanding, but, but I know. She writes the checks? Yes. She signs the checks? Yes. Where are the bills for the corporation mailed to? The Grand Lafayette Club. The Umbrand Boulevard? Yes. Who, um, 
Who prepares the tax? Does the corporation have an accountant? Yes. Who is the accountant for the corporation? N-A-R-E-K. Can you spell that for me? N-A-R-E-K. 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 Yes. A. Let's start over. N-A-R-E-K. N-A-R-E-K. A-L-U-M-Y-A-N. A-L-U-M-Y-A-N. And um, where is his office located? Okay? It's in Rondo, but I don't know the exact address. And how long has he been the accountant for the corporation? I get my wife would know better exact dates. I don't want to say something that I don't know, but it's been a few years I do. And um, does your wife keep the books and records and your property at <laughs> or at the gym or where is she? I don't know. Exactly. I, honestly, I just go to the gym and train fighters. I really hate finances. I've you know been in financial situations because of 2008 now that I look at my credit and everything. And I've had, I haven't had any credit cards. I haven't dealt with that. It's tough to make a living with 10% you know, fighters and the gym wasn't doing good. We've had a lot of issues, so my wife took over and I really don't know most of the things that she's done and never been involved in it. Because I honestly, I don't, I don't like being in situations like this, just training fighters. Do you, do you ever discuss the finances of the gym with her? No. Does she ever say to you, wow, the gym is doing terrible, we can barely pay the bills? Or the yeah, I know it's never doing that well, so, but, you know, it's, it's, uh, I'm unhappy when I'm just in the gym training fighters. That's where I'm happy at. Now, uh, your uh, bankruptcy, in, in the, at the last hearing when we discussed your day-to-day -day activity, and we touched on it a little bit today, you know, you said you go to the gym and you look for fighters. I don't look for fighters. Some fighters come to me. Or Sometimes I look for fighters. Yeah, it depends on you, the situation. But you, and you said that you're finding, you know, fighters and you get, you get a portion of the purse. Yes. And you described fighters that are, you know, not very experienced fighters. The purses are very small. Yeah, there's, there's actually a, there's like a little documentary they made, like we've had fighters in the gym that fight, you know, let's say on a HBO Latino card or a uh, Showbox card, and they make $15,000 for a main event fight. So 10% of that is 1500 but we have so much expenses. Sparring partners, they never pay gym dues, you know, as a professional athlete, and it's, we lose money on situations like that. So... And depending on the fighters, some fighters come that are established. You know, you could um, make they make ten thousand dollars when they're sixteen and no twenty. And these guys are not making more money than that. And then you have fighters that are one and no twenty, no, which they make a thousand dollars. So it doesn't even cover your tape expense. You know, you wrap their hands, and honestly, it doesn't cover the tape expense. It's not easy being a trainer. Who is your wife's employer? My wife's employer. Yeah. Is she employed? Yes. Who, who is Social you? worker. Um, wait, you also, um, to, to put it bluntly, you also train a very high profile fighter. Yes, I do. Okay. And according to what you've put forth in your tax returns and in your bankruptcy schedules, yes. um, that has not resulted in any income for you. And that's what I'm saying. With my I did not know what's been put, and that's why I hired a new attorney, and I did read the first page. I wasn't aware of most of the stuff, and I'm going to fix it. Uh, how much, let's let's go through your earnings. Yes. Okay. What, what have your earnings been in 2015? I, I, can't, I can't say that exact number, because my wife would know better. It's a corporation, and every fighter that comes to the gym, we have more expenses on different coaches. With the high-profile fighter you're saying, we have um, three other trainers, two trainers from my gym just on that, which is um, GFC Fitness that I'm in that gym also, and we have two other trainers working on that fighter. Mr. So, Trustee, as a point of clarification, um, all of the payments from the fighters go to the corporation. Uh, Mr. Tarverdian, the debtor himself, has never received income or any kind of payments directly from any of these fights or the trainers yes. uh, from the best that I've come to understand the structure. So all payouts uh, go to the corporation. Is his wife going to cooperate and provide books and records for the corporation, or are we going to have to do that by 2004 examination? I think we should be able to get cooperation. 
because yeah, there's obviously real community property issues. Uh, Absolutely, with how this has been. Uh, Absolutely, how this has been set up. Now, um, how many fighters are you currently training? Actively training? Currently, right now, one trainer. And who is that? Travis Brown. Do you know what the fuck? I actually have another fighter. I'm sorry, a boxer too. A reef. I got that off. Now, Travis Brown. Um, when, when, a, when a fighter, and are you currently training uh, Ronda you, Rosa? Currently, yes, but she doesn't have a fight, so when they have a training camp, you ask me current, meaning okay. who am I training right now, but how many fighters I've trained, I've trained maybe over a dozen good fighters. Okay, now, for Ronda Rosa, you've trained her what, about a dozen fights or so? Yes. Okay. When she wants to train with you, are you contacted by a business manager? Or a no. Company? No, so we've always, I started her career and you know, there's a book written out there too and we tell her eight, nine fights, she never made uh, any money and that she did 30, 40,000, whatever it was, I never even took the 10% because I was kind enough just, you know, I leave, it's okay, I'm just in the gym, I'm, I'm surviving and she fights for me and I'm not going to take 10% of that. So as it went, you know, she made more money and the corporation made some money and we hired more trainers in the gym, you know, Martin Berberian, three-time Olympian, he gets paid from that purse also, he's a three-time Olympian, he's around this um, corner also uh, all the time. He's always there and he's been there from the get-go, so everybody gets paid from that corporation. Who makes the payments to the corporation? Who makes the payments? Yes. Who Meaning from the fighter? The, the fighters, fighters do. On behalf of the fighters. The fighters might have a corporation, the fighters might have a manager, sometimes there's situations that you know, depending on the fighter, they might uh, make only $10,000. So you ask for the $1,000, 10% at the beginning, instead of waiting for that $1,000 to come in after the fight. There's no subcontract between a fighter and a trainer. So sometimes it's, you ask for it before, so you won't have, uh, try to chase the fighter and, hey, you need to make payments and, you know, nobody comes through. And especially when there's uh, any type of situations in life, sometimes, you know, they win, sometimes they lose, and it's, it's a tough business. How much do you estimate you received or will receive from training Ronda Rousey in 2015? It's in, it's in, the, it's in the six figure mark. When you say in the six figures, that could, yeah. be, that could be a range. That could be a range. And then, you know, I think like um, if we go the two fights we've had back, I think it was approximately around uh, two to three hundred thousand all combined because there are situations with a lot of uh, details with paper rebites and different different situations. So depending on the fight, I can't be that accurate. But you're right. I don't know even also. Are funds still coming in from the last fight? No, we have not um, spoken about any funds or anything because we've had a tough last time. The situations have been spoken about actually, and it's going to be of my willingness and what I want to do with the situation also because I think I'm a fair person and uh, it's. I just want to train fighters. But what, what, what was the agreement going into the fight? We never had a set agreement. You know, I mean, there was, there's never been a set agreement. That there, there's never a contract that's, you know, always been fair and what we've always been doing. So, you know, it could be the same situation, but again, it's going to be my willingness, what I really want to do with the situation. Well, I've had fights that my fighters have lost and have never taken a penny. What has been your custom in practice? Ten percent, ten percent. I put that cover that, sir. Who would you typically have when you make it? When you have these discussions, is it with the fighter directly? Is it with the fighter's business manager? It depends on the situation. It depends on what fighter. Then, like I said, sir, there's fighters that have like ten and all records. They come and they hire you as a trainer, right. and those fighters are making. With somebody with 10 and 0 won't make more than two, three thousand dollars. So, you know, in, in a boxing match, and some of them, you know, in MMA, they get higher, and it, it depends. Some of them, some of the managers approach you. Is it okay? You want to uh, work my, with my fighter, meaning that they have a manager, but some don't. Some are uh, free agents, and it depends on the, the fighter, the situation. Um, in this instance, when the time to discuss finances from this last fight comes about, who will you have that discussion with? with the fighter, will it be with the business managers? Absolutely with the fighter. Um, 
What is your current financial arrangements with Travis Brown? Travis Brown, it's 10 percent or same time. Is he scheduled to fight right now? Um, January 16th, sir. Is there a purse for that fight? Do you know what the purse is? Yes, the purse is, I, I know there's a set purse and the purse is $100,000, I think, but I don't know if it's, they will be happy with all this information being given. I mean, am I allowed to? If I'm allowed to, no. I will. I don't know, because I think there's a person over there sitting and trying to write some stuff, and I don't, I don't think it's fair for it to have these numbers. Yeah, well, this, this, again, as your attorney will tell you, this is a, you know, a public. Oh, okay. Um, All right. Uh, I, I, I don't know exact numbers. I'd rather say I don't know exact numbers because that, I'm just going to give you a number there. Um, Mr. Chairman, Mr. The property and <laughs> that is in your wife's name as well? No. Oh, that's in her father's name? Yes. yes. Do you and your wife own or have any other interest in real estate? No. Does the GFC Fight Club, does it own any other assets besides no. the physical club itself? No, sir. It doesn't own the real estate. No, that I, yeah, right. no, that, 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 that. Um, does, do you have any sponsorship arrangements? Sponsorship, the gym does, yes. Who, who are the gym sponsors? Uh, just a, one new sponsor, it's from Monster, and it just started a contract, Monster Energy Drink. And what are the financial terms of that contract? Just a monthly fee. Approximately how much per month? Okay. Do you have any benefit of the spot? Do you receive any indirect or direct benefit of the sponsorships that your fighters might have? No. Um, do you have a vehicle? Yes. No, right. Currently, no. the house does. When you say the house does? Like my wife does. But what kind of vehicle does your wife have? She drives a Nissan. There was a news report that you have a Range Rover? And that they didn't write it accurately. It's not my Range Rover, it was a Tottenham Motorsports. They're my friends, and they always help Rhonda, like, you know, because she got a gift from the UFC, and they helped her fix the car. And they gave me a lender to drive, and it was only for a month. I've never had a, because uh, that's the car that I won. Yeah, it was on Fox Sports that went. It's, it's not my car. I gave it back. Mr. Trustee, to address that issue, the debtor and I have started working together recently. There are significant errors in the petition, and uh, from the amount of debt to the type of debt to the most simple information, that's incorrect. So we will be amending a significant portion of the petition to make sure that it accurately reflects uh, the debtor's situation. And one thing that should be pointed out is the dates listed for the debts on Schedule F are entirely erroneous. I think a simple credit dump was done uh, without verifying the dates. And from all of the testimony I've uh, gotten thus far over the last week, it seems like the unsecured debt, the total amount, is closer to half the total amount listed, number one. And number two, that there have been no unsecured debts incurred after 2008 whereas the dates incurred on Schedule F have much more recent dates. So that's obviously the most glaring error, but there are significant others that we will work very hard to correct over the coming weeks. Okay. Uh, yeah, so let's, then, let's just finish up with talking about sure. the, the debts, since you brought that up. Uh, you, you, you know what's listed in the papers. That says $722,000. Yeah. Uh, what do you believe the you don't believe that's correct? No, as you it's said not or? correct. And I asked my lawyer, you know, after I know what, what could it be? I guess what happens is they sell the debts from one to another, and that's what's listed in the credit report. And he, you know, there's things that have been added two, three, uh, two, three of them, and he added it all together, but it's the same debt. And he just wrote a number out there that it makes no sense to me. And 
that's why I was in shock when the first time I came. I didn't understand what's going on. I didn't think it was a problem because I've had financial issues from 2008, and I thought that this is okay for me to file bankruptcy and finish everything on my debts, but I didn't understand what's going on. So at this point, you don't really know what the correct amount of debt is. I learned it would not matter if it has. No, but you could tell them an estimate. Tell them, I'm not sure, but estimate. How much do you think you spent? Four hundred max. We're still going to again. We're still going to want the documents that were previously requested. I got those. We are going to want all the. We're going to want all the corporate books and records. Tax returns, financial records, governing governing documents for the corporation. I can send you a. Uh, I think all those uh, corporations. I'll get all of them. Yeah. Um, one of the other th last thing is you previously said that you had not filed a tax return for 2013 and 2014. Is that right? I think so. My, my wife knows better, honestly. And she's and she's at the. All right, we'll hold the case till December 30th, uh, 2015 at 11 a.m. in room. That would be in room four. Hopefully, though, the next, well, maybe, maybe we can make some progress with the holidays. Maybe we can't. Yeah. Four. <laughs> I know I may be out of the yeah, nah, country, but I'll, I'll work with your office to get any information required. All right. I'm here. I got to find <laughs> you. Have to be, you have a yeah, yeah, that's why I have to be here. <laughs> All right. All right, thank you very much. Thank you, sir.